Hello there, I noticed something a bit weird two days ago it is now. Um, I haven't gotten around to recording this video until now, I promised it would come out two days ago when you're watching this. Well, one day ago, I suppose. Um, but my CPU power cable, um, the power pins that plug into the motherboard, um, only two pins are plugged in. Um, it's a four pin, I have a 6600K with a Gigabyte H110MA, so yeah, if you want to research it for yourself, that's what I'm running. Uh, Gigabyte H110MA uh, 6600K GTX 1060 with 8 gigs of HyperX RAM, as well as a Hyper T4 cooler, if that matters to you. Um, something that I noticed is, if we head over to, what's it called? Intel Arc. Um, we can check out. I forget what it's called. Processors, um, and then Intel Core, Intel Sixth Generation Core i fives, and then we should see 6600K. Um, we can see here. It should be somewhere. They've gotten a lot more expensive. I only paid 220 for mine. Um, and before anyone comments, the reason I went with a H110MA and a 6600K, an overclockable processor, is because A, it was cheaper from the Micro Center at the time, don't ask why, it just was. And second, I was already gonna get a CPU cooler, which this doesn't come with, so it was like, eh, who cares. I'll just go with the cheaper one, which either way has more performance. Um... Where does it say the boost speed? Here we go. So we can see the base frequency is 3.5 gigahertz. And we can see over here the max turbo frequency uh, frequency is 3.9 gigahertz. And since it's not very hot right now, we can launch up a speed fan, which is right here. Um speed fan should be out oh, on my other monitor. And it's loading so it won't let me drag it yet. Um, we're gonna use the Firmark CPU stress test. Okay. Can I my mouse oh, there it is. Um, I'm moving it around a glass of water right now, so <laughs> um yeah. So you can see the CPU is at thirty ish Celsius. Um, which is lower than body temperature. Um, I just, I think that might have just crashed. Okay, well we don't need that. So if you get out the CPU burner here, and click start, we will see, um, not only the speed probably say about the same, I haven't tested this, well I did test it a bit. Um, I ran the CPU burner for like 30 seconds. Um, I didn't. Pay, I wasn't paying attention to this. I just wanted to see if it would crash the CPU cooler or the uh, system, not the CPU cooler. There is no processing in that, <laughs> um, <laughs> considering it's a hunk of metal, well, aluminum and copper. So yeah, let's just start this. Okay, we may lose some frames per second on the recording. Well, we're not cool. Now we'll see there. That we're only reaching three point about six gigahertz, but we our max turbo frequency is supposedly three point nine. So, it's either a, um, it's not ever been able to reach three point nine gigahertz, and I'm, I know it has been able to, so that's not it. Or b, the power is limiting it so much that it's not able to reach the three point nine gigahertz. But we can see that you can stably run a system with two pins plugged in on the the, uh, the H110MA with a 6600K, a Core i5. Um, yeah. Also, just out of curiosity, why does it say the base speed is at uh, two gigahertz when up here it says at 3.5 gigahertz, which is, as we saw before, processor base frequency. Just out of curiosity, Microsoft. It's been like that since forever, as far as I can remember. Yeah. We can see that it's not at all struggling. Um, 
speed fan will probably take forever to load. I'm actually quite surprised that neither of my monitors are lagging. Because, um, <coughs> my USB monitor is run off of the CPU. You can see here, display link USB device. It, as far as I have been able to figure out, does not use any form of processing from the graphics card. It just uses the CPU. Um, I don't know if it... go away. I don't know if this will tell us our power usage. Let's just look at our cores. We can definitely see that all cores are utilized as well as up here. Also, if you're wondering how you in or see this, you just right click. I think it's here. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. See. Just go. Logical processors, and then you're done. And I don't know what NUMA nodes are, but I would assume you can do NUMA nodes too, if that's your thing. Um, and yeah. So. I may make a follow up to this. It will probably just be a bonus video for the day. Depends on how I'm, what mood I'm in. <laughs> and yeah, so we can see that it doesn't affect it too much. And yeah, I don't have much else to say. I mean, I hate to break it to ya. But yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.